All right, what up, fuck nuts? This is the Spicy Burrito on the Spicy Burrito channel on YouTube. It's our Saturday night main event. Uh, and tonight will be a special night. Tonight will be an extra struggle through. Um, as you all know, I'm a PC gaming virgin. And, and, and well, I'm a virgin in multiple ways. But PC gaming virgin. So, uh, yeah, we're going to try to run through or play uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Ooh, I'm sure it's got these convoluted controls. And everything. Um, I'm used to playing games that are 10 years old or older. Uh, so this ought to be interesting. Tonight we have a Western theme. We're going to talk about Westerns. Uh, I don't have a definitive list because I'm not, uh, not going to sit here and claim that I'm a Western expert by any means. I've seen plenty of Westerns, but I'm not an expert on them. So I thought maybe we just pick a few actors or characters that have been fucking awesome and I'll highlight them. We'll talk about them. Now, a uh, few notes on Red Dead Redemption 2. It's a very I picked it because it's a very story-driven game, kind of like Skyrim. So uh, there's going to be a lot of story in this. And from what I've seen, I've only, I haven't touched this game. I've just loaded it up. I haven't played it. So I'll probably suck ass at the tutorial. Um, <clears throat> and I'll have to push the shift key and the control key and all that shit. That's going to be very confusing for me. I can only handle up down left and right but we'll see um yeah this game's very story driven so I, I i won't be talking too much over the story as it goes on this game opens up with a, a credit scene that lasts like 10 minutes so we'll, we'll struggle through that i'll crack wise if i see fit um and then uh, a few notes on the channel um i've decided that we're gonna pick four games and every every four weeks we'll come back to that game so like last week we played leisure suit larry We'll come back to that in three more weeks um, and pick up where we last saved. And then we'll play them until I get sick of them or until I beat them or whatever. Whatever comes first, which is probably... Or, or until I get fucking frustrated as hell and fucking decide to just rage quit. So we'll see how that goes as well. Um, you can find me on Twitch. And Clifford Franklin just subscribed. I want to say thank you. Uh, the Spicy Burrito 2225. Apparently there was 2224 other Spicy Burritos out there. So that shows you how late to the game I am. Um, I guess that's that's about it. Let's introduce tonight's topic, though, appropriately. Westerns. Yes, I'm a good little ranger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll just we'll just um shoot the shit about westerns and, and who's who's awesome and who's not and what what westerns I like and whatever. So, uh. And the channel, like I said, is going to be every Saturday night, 8 p.m. You follow me here on YouTube. And then weeknights on Twitch. I just fuck around with Skyrim on Twitch on weeknights. So if, you, if you're if you bored on a weeknight, tune into Twitch there. Uh, and so basically I've sold out my Saturdays for the rest of my life. And that just shows you how much of a bald, <laughs> balding, old, fat, disgusting loser I am. Um, I couldn't think of a better word than loser, but I'm sure there is. So, uh... I think that's it for any disclaimers. Now, what we're going to do, this game is going to be really story-driven, so it's going to be hard. I'm going to find a way to pause and then come over to this screen and um, talk about what we want to talk about. So, pour yourself <laughs> cowboys and cowgirls. Pour yourself a tall one. Hey, barkeep, I want a tall, wet one. Well, your mother's not here. <laughs> And uh, pour yourself a tall, wet one, whether it be uh, whiskey, beer, water, Pepsi, um, and join me for some uh, Red Dead. I got it paused, and we're going to jump right into the story and get it over with, so let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, by 1899, the age of outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. Unless you're from Detroit. A land of laws. Too many fucking laws. Even the West had mostly been tamed. few gangs still roam, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. 
Like Antifa. Send him to Detroit. <laughs> now torture. Take him to be tortured. Yeah, good old Rockstar. I think I'm playing. I think I'm gonna play another Rockstar game next week. This is gonna be complete struggle through though. This is a modern fucking game here. This is like two years old kind of modern. Red Dead Redemption Two. What? Ding. Oh, I gotta look the part. Hold on. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. It's weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. Okay, this might be a little awkward. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Shelter? Let Davy rest while he... You know. An old man <laughs> while he what? Jerks off? It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Ooh. Give me some whiskey. I got some whiskey poured. Ooh. Part one. Ann Coulter. <laughs> Does she play the horse in this in this <laughs> game? I'm gonna name if I get if you get a chance to name your horse, I'm gonna name it Ann Coulter. This headphone situation is not comfortable. We got to do what I got to do. Bring out your dead. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. <coughs> Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Man, that broad's wearing some... Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. That's good silver right there. First of all, you're going to stay here, and you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. <laughs> Ar Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we yeah, have. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little hungry. Listen. <laughs> Listen to me Who's Ennis Del Mar? <laughs> now we've had well, Del Mar Mar. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Big deal. Uh, if I could. Throw myself in the ground in their stead. I'd do it. This guy's full of shit. Gladly. But <laughs> we're gonna find some food. Everybody, <coughs> we're safe. I can't. Now, <coughs> How's it go? No I don't want to quit. I can't quit you. A storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be. We're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Look at that dude's skull it, man. Miss Grimshaw, I need skirted egg this going on there. Into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay all right. Strong. There's only one way to get yourself warm Stay in Stay with me. And that's start fucking. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. This guy's an asshole. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. They... <laughs> I ain't had time to ask. I can't quit you. 
What really went down back there on that boat? Well, me and my boy Where had. That's what happened. We got lonely. <laughs> oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. Okay, here we go. I got control. Look out. All right, I know how to push W. Come on, let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. <laughs> we'll do our best to stick to the trail. I thought these things what? smelled bad. On the outside. Oh, it has to blow over soon. We could slice up one of the horses. I really want to know what happened on that boat. Up. Take it easy. God damn it. <laughs> I block him. I'm already fucking failing. Ride next to me, son. Don't want to lose you. All right, I'll Can't catch up. We lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tail on us. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. It's always about the Pinkertons. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? Oh, there. You up ahead. Look out. Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is, or <laughs> was, yeah. <laughs> and Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I feel like I'm on one of those Cadillac cars at Cedar Point. You can't stray. You just gotta press forward. No matter if where you turn the wheel. Boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move on. <laughs> this guy loves to take the rear. Let me yeah. take the rear. <laughs> giddy up. Giddy up. Oh, I gotta talk to Micah. Hey, stop riding like a damn fool. You sure about this, Micah? Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. Been kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp back up the hill. Huddled around a fire. <laughs> for okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. Micah's lucky at cards. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Don't put me in combat. Don't put me in combat. Don't put me in combat. Okay. Let's head down there. My horse blew <laughs> my horse blew a tire. Oh, my health is in the lower left. Okay. Good to know. I'm going to be losing a lot of that, so. Let's hitch up here. Whoa. Hitch it up. Come on, hitch it up.
Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. <laughs> fine people. Someone's having fun in there. Follow Dutch. Dutch Mantel. Dirty Dutch Mantel. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. <laughs> Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Did you just call me a degenerate? Go to the shed and press Q to take cover. I can manage that. Not there. Over in the <laughs> okay. Is this the cattle shed? Okay, I guess that's not the cattle shed. I'm trying, boss. I'm trying. W to peek out of cover. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, well. Hello, friend. All right, let's What's blow him away. I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. <laughs> this guy could bullshit with the best you, of them. I got folks, Arthur, dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. Oh, yummy. That's, that's not a corpse, that's dinner. I think you should go now, buddy. Oh, okay. Should we? Oh, fucking revolver! Hell yeah. Hey, Arthur. 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 Hey, Arthur.
No, no, no. Don't close it, you ass clown. Ooh, heroin. Ooh, laudanum. Ooh, anal ease. That'll come in handy. <laughs> the anal ease will come in handy. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. This guy moves so slow. Oh, there's something up here. Meet me out here when you're done. All right. Oat cakes. Oh, revolver cartridges. Those are always good. <laughs> Don't trip. No. <laughs> Go down, you dumb fuck. Thank you. Why am I crouching? Let's check the bedside nightstand for some vibrators. Oh. Panty. Press S to sniff panties. Um, okay, it's a picture of a ship. It says package ship. Let's flip. Marvels of travel and locomotion. <laughs> Is this supposed to mean something? A s it's not a sailboat. It's a schooner. They had hot air balloons back then? Led Zeppelin. <laughs> what are you doing in there, Arthur? I'm just looking through these fine people's personals. Just give me a minute. <laughs> I'll be out in a minute. I'm working on a big one here. Uh, dollar thirty one. That's like fuck a million dollars back then. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna close shit. Oh, picture. Poor bastard was married to. Yeah, what a poor bastard. He looks like a real fucking chump to me. Jake and Sadie wedding, September fourth, nineteen. 1896. Seems like yesterday. Uh, okay. Poor bastard. No, 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 no. Man, if the whole game was like this, I'd... I dig it. More oat. Jesus, hold your horses. Like a, Arthur, <laughs> Uncle Albert. For stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin. God, see this guy's nothing mean. but fucking barking yeah. out orders. What a dick. This guy's an asshole. This guy's dick's so short he probably pisses on his own balls. Okay, I'll alt to view my current objective. Investigate the barn. All right. Good thing I got a buck thirty-one. You can buy a couple packs of s that fine southern tobacco with a buck thirty-one. We're so sorry. Uncle Albert. Oh, shit. He got the drop on me. Uh, how do I attack? F. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck him up. Oh, I'm going to fuck this guy up. Bob and Weave. Float like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. 
Let's interrogate them. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch would talk. <laughs> I can either question him or beat him. Let's beat him. <laughs> I want to beat him again. Beat him again. With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. I don't believe you. That t that's going to take another bitch slap. Why are you up here? We're fixing to rob some train. Uh-oh. Blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. Well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. Okay, boss. But bring that horse when you're done. And Coulter, I'll be right on it. Okay, should we spare him? No, let's beat him. <laughs> I'm a... Yeah, fuck him, knock him out. Fuck him. Serves you right, bitch. <laughs> Alright. Pick up my gun. Oh, yeah. My, I need my hat, too. Let's get the horsey. This is going to be our horse. Easy, baby. Giddy up. Giddy up, jump boy. Giddy up. Lead the horse to water. Arthur, this guy just b loves barking out fucking orders, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh shit. Side boob. Yes. Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. That's like Miss. side boob, that's like eighteen hundreds porn right there. Be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh, she's showing a little too much shoulder. You okay, Miss? They came three days ago. Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. <laughs> you come with us. Of course. Miss, it's okay. I bet her nipples are hard. We ain't there. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Piggy. Adler. <laughs> Sadie Adler. Sadie. Miss Sexy Sadie. Sadie. I, he... He was my husband. Uh-oh. Dun, dun. That's Dutch oven to you, pal. Uh, Mike have found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh. 
We found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. And that's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Dutch but oven. It is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You got some bur bourbon, some good whiskey. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Grimshaw. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? <laughs> Uncle Arthur gets a room, and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies. Get yourself to bed. Oh, jeez. Don't. Don't you know that you are a poopy dick? Don't you know? Auto save the aftermath of Genesis. Save on one of them. Yeah. But do you want to overwrite the data? Fuck yeah, I do. Bitch. Oh, that's bright. Fuck, they're in the same weather we're having. Sub Zero bullshit. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. Uh oh. He's strong, and he's smart. Strong at least. Hello, Arthur. Hello, ma'am. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Well, I haven't crapped in three Hi, days. Abigail. You? I need you to. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but. It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. <laughs> I mean... Speaking of... He may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go now, take if you excuse look. me, I gotta go Javier? take a dump. Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? Javier. You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all, yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. He'd look for me. All right, Vato. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. <laughs> he wouldn't leave. Not like that. Who the fuck would go north? The first time. They didn't say where we were. Are we out in like the Dakotas or Montana or something? Or it's definitely not Arizona. <laughs> Black girls bar mother they're in the mines of North Dakota lived a man named Rocky Raccoon. No, that's just, on, that's just a let's spicy burrito more, lighting up a heater. Hmm. Well, seems somebody left. No, ma, no smoke. No smoke. Recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Ah, tranquilo. Two hours ago, almost. But Tranquilo. Muy caliente. Oh, God. There's horse health in this thing. Just another thing to worry about. Javier. Javier. Let's call it Javi. We had the money. It seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. Wow, it's it always crazy. the Pinkertons. It's raining bullets. It's raining bullets. Hallelujah. It's raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. You're cracking my ass. Uh oh. Dutch killed a girl in a to change perspective and way. camera distance, press V. But it was a bad situation. 
Okay. First person. Whoa. <laughs> Arthur. Turn around, Arthur. You idiot. Oh, watch out for that crevice. <laughs> Okay, I'm a little bit confused here. All right, there we go. Good girl, good girl. Come on, Arthur. Need to stay together. Okay, first person. Down here. Javier. Davey got shot. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Well, this is pretty cool. Watch this. Bad business, all right. You can, like, do cinematic view. coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. I must say, the game is pretty fucking beautiful. Uh, even though we're just seeing white everywhere. Oh, you could change camera angles with C. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, Javi, I'm right behind you. Oh, shit. I'm about to fucking. <laughs> what did I? What did I do? It's not a Skyrim horse, obviously. It won't climb mountains. Awesome! I fucking died in the tutorial. <laughs> oh, poor horsey. I'm sorry, I'm a fucking struggle. Javier, how do I get back up there, buddy? I'm coming, I'm coming. There we go. All right. <laughs> that was great. They probably never intended for anybody ever to fall off their horse in the tutorial. And then a fat bastard like me comes along and just fucking blows up all their plans. Come on now. Giddy up. Giddy up. Uh oh, what is this? John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. Oh, I hear him. Come on, up there. Giddy up. Caliente. <laughs> what he said. Caliente. Hold on, my horse got to take a dump. Thanks for telling me. Now I got to go back to the horse. You... Okay, horse weapons tab. Oh, yeah, we want the fucking sawed off shotgun. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Can we shoot him? <laughs> I had to try. Oh, it says sure. How about a Mexican standoff there, Javi? Yeah, it's like we're on top of High Harathgar. 
Okay, stamina is down in the bottom left as well. Careful. I'll try to remember that. I probably won't, but it's the lightning bolt, though. Something tells me I'm going to have to kill something. How do you crouch? Control. Okay, from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Build the wall. Gap here. Phew. <laughs> oh. I would totally fart if I had to pull myself up onto a wall like that. We're coming, John. Like, I would jump and go. <laughs> I'd totally shit my pants. Get up there, you dumb fuck, Arthur. Damn, it's cold. Damn I got diarrhea. This diarrhea just won't quit. How you doing? I'm miserable. <laughs> You're telling me. A few days. I know. Oh, you got some. You got some whiskey. Here, take a drink of that. Thanks. Not designed for this snow. I don't know what it is about video games, but every video Let's game, it's now. like alcohol gives you stamina. You would think alcohol would take away from your stamina but Most John can you hear me John you there You there John boy Out of the ledge That's John We're coming That was down He's down here <laughs> you pussy? Here, Marston? What a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this. Oh, this guy's worse for wear. You, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good neither. You don't speak too good either. I'm freezing. He got in a fight with a hooker. Come on, compadre. Compadre. Now, why do I have to carry his ass? Make the Mexican guy do it. Well, can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? Oh, Dutch, you weren't the right man for this. Dutch oven. I'm sure you did. You all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Holy shit. It's like the ice planted a hoth. Me and my map map. Me and my map. Me and my map map. Me and my map. Here, take him. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to fight. This is gonna be wonderful. Okay, here we go, John. Where are they? Oh, blew him away. I <laughs> I ain't gonna shoot you between the eyes. I'm gonna shoot you between the balls. Okay, let's get going before any more of these bastards show up. That was pretty fucking fun. Never thought murdering wolves would be so fun. <laughs> That's not my horse. Oh, I guess that was my horse. Okay, boy. Come on then. Let's get back to the others. Yeah. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a a dog bite. 
<laughs> you know, a fella got bit by a dog, died an hour later. You ain't gonna die, not yet. <laughs> you ain't gonna die, fool. I love the music. Four coming down the hill. Where? Oh, I missed. Oh. <laughs> got him. You got more wolves on the left. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Get up. Yeah, just trample them. Fuck that. Who needs guns? Don't think so. Jesus. I could blow his head off. <laughs> We're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving. I might I suggest blaming it on a frost troll. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. That's what she said. That's where we camped. Nearly there. All right. Well, we made it through our first quest. Jamboy. We get some help here. <laughs> Nobody's home. We get some help. We need some help here. Come on, help. <laughs> help, please. Paralyzed. It's about time, fuckers. There we go. Ah, you careful, idiotas. It's his leg. <laughs> idiotas. Come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. He's a swarthy you Mexican. Talk about how we're gonna get out of this. I was just discussing with hey, it's the professor. When the weather breaks, I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. <laughs> the west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. Uh, you German bastard. Mine error. Okay. We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Piss ant mining town. Spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? Dutch oven. <laughs> Okay, this might be a good time to pause <clears throat> and bring up, <clears throat> excuse me, bring up our uh, topic. Yes, I'm a good little range. Okay, um, it's just more of a hodgepodge of, of people, I've, actors and characters in Westerns. Um, I don't know what to say about my first top, my first character. Uh, it's an animal. It's a horse. Um, I don't know if you've guessed it, but this is the greatest horse in any Western of all Westerns. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. But, you know, there's the, the famous horses are like Trigger and um, I don't know. I don't know any other horses, but this horse takes the cake. Greatest horse of in any Western of all time. Of course, I'm talking about John fucking Elway. Giddy up, Jumboy! <laughs> this was the one joke I had. This is the one uh, honorable mention, greatest horse in Western history, John Elway. <laughs> he played a horse um, in the NFL Western from 1980-something to almost year, the year 2000. <laughs> 
Yeah, John Boy. He'll dangle a carrot in front of his head, in front of his uh fucking face, and he'll lead you to a Super Bowl. <laughs> John Boy. Uh, yeah. So that was my one, my one joke of the night was John Elway. He played the greatest horse in the greatest western of all time, New, the NFL, Denver Broncos, nineteen circa nineteen eighty eight to nineteen whatever. What else could be said about John Boy? Well, John Boy struggled in his career to, as a young gelding. Um, he lost a couple Super Bowls in the eighties. I remember them getting trounced, and then, and then he went out on top. He won back to I think back to back Super Bowls. They were pretty boring fucking Super Bowls, but he oh, and he had the famous like spinaroni fucking touchdown in a Super Bowl or whatever. He got fucking nailed by a linebacker or something, and he just did like a helicopter three sixty. His whole body did, and he was you know. But he loves carrots and he loves apples and he loves to have his uh the side of his neck padded, and um especially when you say giddy up jumbo. <laughs> Uh yes, Tim Tebow. <clears throat> well, Tim Tim Tebow is a Bronco, but he's definitely he's definitely not more horse looking than John Elway. We should start a horse family. I should do that. I should bring up the horse family, and like I brought up the rat family, like people who look like rats. The horse family should we should bring up the horse family in the Who Turts videos on my YouTube channel. If you want to see pre recorded videos of. Me struggling through Skyrim with a great character named Hooters McBoobs. I'll probably bring her up. I'll bring up the horse family on there. There's plenty of people who look like fucking horses out there. Uh, John Elway is like the opposite of Alicia Silverstone. Alicia Silver Silverstone still has her baby teeth. Uh, John Elway has fucking chompers from fucking like, you know, she's he's got like the opposite of baby teeth. He's got like super adult teeth. He's got fucking like. Giant teeth. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I smoked too much. I, I had to cough there. Um, <laughs> but I'll never forget that spin rooney touchdown. I mean, it was, it was probably one of the greatest. <laughs> yeah, Kellen Moore. Um, there. Uh, I mean, I, I, like I mentioned earlier, there's Ann Coulter. She could be in the horse family. <laughs> I wish I could make the horse. I should have loaded, preloaded the horse sound. With the horse like goes, <laughs> I wish I could do it like on, on cue. Like, um, yeah, I should have preloaded the horse sound. I didn't think about it. Next time I do horse family, maybe I will. <laughs> AOC, AOC is another good horse, horse family. She's more of a donkey family. Uh, but yeah, there's been plenty of horses out there. <laughs> so that was my, that was my one, uh, my one off, my one joke for the night. You can go to bed now. I won't be funny the rest of the night. So I thought you'd get a kick out of John Boy, fucking <laughs> John Elway. Oh shit! And let me know if you know any other horses we could put in there. <laughs> so, um, and. Well, it's nine o'clock, one hour in. We should probably get to the real uh, list. Um, the actors. Uh, let's get back here. Hold on. There we go. Um, now, in all seriousness, this next fucking actor. If you haven't seen Once Upon a Time in the West, you need to watch it. Now, I'm going to warn you, Once Upon a Time in the West is drawn out and slow. But there's a reason why that is because it builds tension and blah 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 i'm not a fucking movie critic by any means but it does a great job you need to watch it it's a long movie it's slow it's drawn out but this next guy is a fucking he's evil incarnate he's a demon he's he's a murderer um well without further ado let's bring in hank fonda there oh my god this guy plays the most evil son of a bitch in any movie, any Western that I've seen. Um, now, the, there's funny stories about this. If you, I, I went back and I watched like old interviews from Henry Fonda. And he was cast, he, he was talking to Sergio Leone, the, the director of Once Upon a Time in the West. You need to watch it. And Sergio Leone wanted to cast him. And so 
and when he found out it was the bad guy he wanted to cast him as, he decided to get contact lenses to turn his eyes brown instead of blue like you see in this picture. He grew like a uh, uh, mustache like John Wilkes Booth or William Shakespeare mustache. Uh, and he, he had his eyebrows darkened and he wanted to play like a bad guy. That's was the stereotypical bad guy, Brown, dark eyes, dark, dark facial hair. And then the John Wilkes Booth kind of bullshit, or as I like to call it, Bill Shakespeare. Anyways, he showed up in Italy and Sergio Leone took one look at him. He said, no, 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 no. I want the blue eyes. I want the regular eyebrows. I want no facial hair. I want clean shaven Henry Fonda. And he he wondered why. And then he saw the first shot of the movie. And there's these five fucking rogues, these five badass bad guys walking up in the first shot. And you see them, the camera's behind them. They're walking up to this kid, this little kid. And I, I'll spare you what happens to the little kid. Uh, they're walking up to this little kid. And then the camera pans. And it pans around his body. And it focuses in on his face. And Sergio Leone said he wanted Henry Fonda to look like Henry Fonda. So the audience would go, holy shit, that's Henry Fonda. <laughs> or uh, in his words, it was Jesus Christ. That's fucking Henry Fonda. Because um, he, he was you. Henry Fonda was was known for playing good guys. He was he was like a squeaky clean kind of actor. He never played like villains. And then he played this. And when you see him in this fucking movie, you You'll have nightmares. This guy is a fucking demon. He's evil incarnate. He's and he does such a great fucking job. And it's so cool to see somebody that was known for being squeaky clean playing that character and why Sergio Leone wanted him basically for shock value. So the so the audience would would be like like I don't know, um it's kind of like the the feeling I compare it to the feeling I get when I first saw bob saget outside of now r rest in peace bob saget when i sir, first saw bob saget outside of of, of uh, full house he's talking about anal sex and and, and butt sex and or uh, butt sex and dicks and cocks and pussies and you're like what and hookers and killing hookers and you're like wait a second that's bob that's america's dad there that's bob saget you know that's how they felt when they saw him on the screen and I don't know what else to say. Like I said, I'm not an expert in Westerns. That's why I'm not doing a, a, a five countdown. Um, but Once Upon a Time in the West is probably my favorite Western. And he's probably my, he is my favorite villain. And there's so much in that. And we'll talk about Once Upon a Time in the West more. If you can guess what's coming up. But yeah, I mean, he's got those baby blue eyes and you're just like, Wow, that's fucking Bob Saget, and he's a murdering fucking, um, fucking psychopath. You know, that, that's that's what I I think about Hank, and I like to call him Hank Fonda. It's Henry Fonda, but uh, just to be funny, I, I put Hank. So, yeah, yeah. So that's my thoughts on good old Hank fucking Fonda. Please, if you do anything, if you learn anything, watch this movie. Just watch it. And 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 just suspend disbelief for three hours and, and, and just be patient. I know nowadays we're so like into instant gratification, but the way this movie moves and Sergio Leone is known for his trilogy of the uh, Good, Bad, and the Ugly trilogy or whatever, the Man With No Name trilogy, the music... And the sound, the over-the-top, loud-ass sound effects. I mean, it uh, it's just fucking, uh, it's, I don't know what to say about it. It's, uh, it's just great. It is, I fell in love with the movie as soon as I saw it. And I've watched it, you know, you know, for about 10 times. It, it just, I, and I love it every time I watch it. Um, And that's about all I have to say about Hank Fonda. So why don't we jump back into the game? All right. No, I don't want to quit. I can't quit you. All right. We wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. This cowboy hat's really pissing me off. I guess. 
Okay, so there's looks like there's uh, quest objections on my compass there. P and B. I didn't read what it said, but we're going to search because I've played lots of Skyrim, and that's all I do is search stuff. So I don't know how important this stuff is. More fucking oat cakes. Head east, go west, and head east. There was, that was two 80s bands. There was head east and go west. Head east was much better. I don't know what song they were they sang, but I can't remember. Oh, here's a cabinet. Can we search it? Yeah, we sure can. Oh, deep fried bullfog turds? No, 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 no. Don't close it, you dumbass. Oh, I can't carry this item. All right, close it. We'll remember it's there next to the gloves. Smell the glove. What are you assholes up to? Oh, can I use the saw? As a weapon, that'd be fucking cool. And they got their own tool shop, smithing shop. You can smith up some iron armor or maybe some dragon up dragon bone armor. Yeah. Don't mind me. I'm just searching every little nook and cranny of this fucking place. Nothing. Ma'am, what's she doing? Her fucking makeup. She's talking on her fucking. She's she's on a Skype call, <laughs> FaceTiming. <laughs> Ooh, ashtray. Can I get a smoke? Nope. Do they not allow smoking in video games anymore? If there ever was a game where you're smoking cigarettes, it would be this one, right? I don't want to talk to you. What about you? What's this book have to no? See, I'm just curious about every little thing. Let's go outside. The light is blinding. Okay, let's head to our, our objectives. We got two. We can go to the guy on the right or the guy on the left. Let's go to the guy on the left. He looks like he's going to fucking beat some ass. Huh? We're going to starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. <laughs> this guy in his skirted people. egg. I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. In the Navy. Was stranded at sea for 50 days. How could you blame me for fucking a dude in the ass? When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> Pick on the fatty. And they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. <laughs> we'll go find something. This guy's full of crack, crack and wise. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Awful. Starving will be preferable. <laughs> Did it? You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. YouTube. YouTube. Those hills, I'll find it, and you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Yeah, Chuck. Come along. <coughs> I 
Oh, he's gonna give me a bow. You take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. But my archery skill is only fifteen. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. Yeah. Okay, can you build up your archery skill like in Skyrim? I'm gonna compare everything to Skyrim. Okay, max speed with my holding or tapping L1. Still bad. It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <laughs> you just gotta jo join the thieves guild and become a stealth archer. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, watch it. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Yeah. Good job. I'm petting my horse. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater. Getting stuck in the storm. Bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just like to think back on. You're lazy. That's what I, I meant. Don't really know what happened on that boat. <laughs> I think well, I think I Dutch was bit, I think sure Dutch was it. fucking some dudes in the ass on that boat. That's what I think. That's why he won't tell us. Little butt sex. He's hung like Javier's horse. <laughs> That's the rumor about Dutch. He's got a big fucking ego. This is a beautiful fucking game. Beautiful fucking game. I'm patches of grass here. <laughs> this is good. Some of that wacky tobacco. Come on. Let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. All right. My eyes are peeled. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. They'll now smell my farts. Stay quiet. What if I fart in the wind? Will the deer smell it? Hmm, he had Culver's for dinner. Stop here a second. I see something. He had a mushroom Swiss burger for dinner. Oh. Has a deer been here recently? How can you tell? How can you tell? <laughs> I predicted that one. Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Too bad he couldn't be a master hunter like Binky. <laughs> Binky. I gotta bring up Binky in every fucking live stream. Uh, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, select long arms with mouse button and you and use Q or E to select bow. Okay, press X to cycle between modified ammo types. I don't know. I'm too drunk to figure this out. I'm just gonna take the bow. Can we just hunt with the fucking shotgun? Okay, buddy. Where where to? You see the tracks? Uh, no. So. <laughs> Maybe not. Focus. Okay. Use eagle eye. Oh, this ought to be good. Press. Wait. Press mouse button to activate eagle eye. Keep going. 
No, I don't... I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. Okay. Focus on track. Q. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, very interesting. Welcome to Live Buck Hunter. No, welcome to Ted Nugent's Spirit of the Wild Buck Hunting. Okay, you press Q to focus on the track. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Spirit of the wild. Oh, God. There's like a scent meter. Fuck this. I quit. I'm done. I didn't know it was going to be that involved. All right. I think we can stop tracking because I see the deer. Down there. You see him? Yeah, I see him. I see him. Are you ready? Not really. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. Keep good tension on the string before releasing. Okay, so let's ready the bow. Now, Arthur. Okay, R to call. Oh, I fucking missed. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Of course. Ted Nugent would not be proud. The Great White Buffalo! If some of our teenage thrill seekers really want to get a thrill, why don't they go up to the Black Hills of North Dakota and hunt the grizzly? It'll cleanse the soul. Okay, the tracks lead that way. Wait, there's tracks. There's tracks up. Let's go this way. It'll cleanse the soul. All right, I want another. I want another shot at this little fucker. I don't see the tracks anymore. Where the hell's the tracks? <laughs> oh, I lost them. All right. Come on, Javier, or whoever you are. Help me out. What's going on? Fuck this. I'm just running. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Uh, crouch, dude. There you go. All right, we got two bucks or does or whatever the fuck. I don't even know the difference. Got him. Fuck yeah. Take that, you motherfucker. Okay, he ran across the river. Okay. Well, 
Can we speed this up here, buddy? Yeah. You know, I, r I prefer salmon fishing in uh, Skyrim. Tell you the truth. Where are your where is your trail? Your vapor trail. You follow the follow the deer farts. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to I'm supposed to follow deer tracks here, but I don't see any. Hold on. They like end. Oh. Am I stupid? Well, I know I'm fucking stupid, but does anybody else see that the fact that the tracks end here? Oh, am I supposed to like track them then? Interesting. All right, stand the fuck up. Okay, this way. Oh, I see. It like Okay, it makes the snow glisten. You got to follow the glistening snow. I can barely see that. Alright, this fucker's mine. I'm gonna slaughter this fucking deer. Slaughtered? Okay, he's in my sights. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. What? I fucking shot the cocksucker. Let's get on the trail. This guy moves so slow. Oh. Come on. You're making yourself too obvious. <laughs> I'm making myself I'm making a fool out of myself more like it. <laughs> Thanks, Tego. Buffalo. All right. Okay, I got him. I got him dead within my sights. I'm going to smoke. I'm going to fucking skin and smoke this fucking deer up on my fucking Weber kettle. All right. Do I even bother to call? Because it seems like if I call... Ah, oh, fucker, I missed. We need this meat. I need your meat. Not that way. What are you doing? <laughs> you tell me, buddy. I'm going to stop calling the deer. I think that that is just fucking stupid. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Get it together, Arthur. Meat sweats. Meat sweats is murder.
Okay. One more, one more shot. I'm gonna get him this time. I swear. Oh, can, is that him? That's him. Can I shoot him in the butthole? I don't know if you see that, people, but I'm gonna shoot this fucking deer in the butthole. What is study? The compendium tracks what you have discovered in the world. It can be accessed accessed in the progress section of the pause menu. Uh, let's check that out. Not the, Oh, never mind. Fuck it. Show info. White-tailed deer. Yields a pelt and a mature venison. Used in crafting and cooking or can be sold. Used as a rifle for a clean kill. Use a rifle for a clean kill. Okay. I'm going to shoot this fucking deer in the butthole. Right up the butt. <laughs> oh, I fucking lived. There's no way it lived, right? It just took an arrow in the fucking butthole. Nobody lives through an arrow in the butthole. Oh, yeah, it's bleeding out its anus. Okay, it's dead. Oh, can we... Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay. Poor girl. That almost made me feel sad. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Approach the back of yours. There she is. All I want for Christmas is my two front teesh. Oi. Yep. <laughs> okay. Not bad, boy. Hell yeah, boy. Boy. I just fucking punched my horse. <laughs> uh, that deer is dead. Where's the other guy at? Uh. Oh, we got we got to catch up to the Mexican guy. Get along, little doggy. Get up, jump boy. That was fucking funny. I punched. I totally pulled a Mongo on my fucking horse. I punched him on accident. Mongo like candy. <laughs> Ready to head back when you are. Come on, man. Let's head back. Nice work, Arthur. No, it wasn't a donkey punch, but. If I fuck it, if they have a donkey in this game, I'm totally gonna punch it. I'm sure there's a donkey in this game. There's gotta be. We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Nah, I don't think so. When you got the spicy burrito controlling your character, your luck is not going to turn. La Loop. Dutch oven and Hosea, huh? I like the cinematic view. It's pretty cool. I'm fucking drunk. Because he ate it all. Sure, she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would too. She lost her husband, 
I love this. You can switch the camera view and it automatically takes control of your horse so you don't have to fuck around. Once we get out of here, we're back on our feet. We'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? Uh, they're perverts. They're pedos. I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much. A bunch of pedos. I guess because they've been over this way. The pu the now, Pinkertons. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, hold out control and tap. For years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. <laughs> sons of bitches. Oh, okay. So you can rear your horses, horses, to rear them up. I don't know why you would do that. Just to, instead, maybe just to look like a pimp. Charles, we got anything else to talk about? How about masturbation techniques? This guy's dick so short he probably uses two fingers. <laughs> Oh I shit. Find another way around. I don't like bears. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Are you with me? Alright. Yeah, don't fuck around with that bear now. Are we headed to High Harothkar? Use G to stroke your horse's ego. We ain't ever talked that much, you me. How long you been? Hello, Chumkey. Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this? Blackwater mess? Being up here? The boat? Uh, careful. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. Maybe. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. Well, we were two guys, lonely, backstage oh, at the ballet, home. you know? No we can forget about it if you want time. to. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder <laughs> that most nights. Especially with the company I keep. I you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, <laughs> Dutch is different. No, this is the first time I've played it. Dutch is certainly different. Dutch. Me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother. That ain't normally the case. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm out of here. We need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? They give good head, that's why. Careful. Years, something like that. <laughs> Very good head. Yikes. Twenty years. Yeah. You taught me to read. John too. Tell me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Let me guess. Dutch saved me. Dutch oven saved him. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Be careful. Whoa! How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. He's a good boy. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable. <laughs> he loves that horse. He's hung like a horse. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say fucked me faster than a bull?
<laughs> All right, we got some dinner. I'm gonna hitch time over here. What a dumb name for a horse. Okay, press E to hitch and to the post. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Get out of the way, dude. I'm trying, but it won't let. There we go. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet him? <laughs> I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. You're in. You're you're in it. What is that? It's rum, sir. It's the only thing. The this, only thing. This guy in the fucking navy. <laughs> you saying it does? Yeah, it oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. You'll get to skin oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to skin that action. fat bastard. Come on. That's, That's a lot of skin. A burnt hand. I'll see you both later. Oh yeah, Blaine. He gets out of his duties because he's got a burnt hand. <laughs> All right. Skin that bitch. Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. They're not even going to gut it first. They're going to skin it first. Is that how you do it? I thought you gut it first. Not too bad, I don't know. I'll have to ask Binky. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these and He's got his town, the, if you're looking to make a the guy with the skirted eggs got his own right fucking now, Traeger out back. He's mouth. just not telling us. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Ooh, Thank smoked you, rabbit would be good. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <laughs> yeah. well, we're on the run now. Everyone's <laughs> got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. Hell yeah, some venison Tough stew. I'd rather have some venison chili, but one of three deer skins. Can I skin the other one? Nope. How about you? <laughs> this guy's sharpening. Where's your Traeger at, dude? What kind of pellets do you use? I'm I'm guessing hickory. <laughs> Eat hickory. Why is the cook always a fat guy? I guess we uh, asked and answered, Your Honor. <laughs> Why is the cook a fat guy? Uh, asked and answered, Your Honor. All right, so we're supposed to go in here and look for somebody. I don't know. Help with you boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, you lot have all turned yellow, apart from you. Cool. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long There's a races. cigarette. Okay. Mm. I guess I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. Funny, Sure. Oh, nice. I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it. Now. Uh oh, Dutch you Oven's here. Punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching. Punching my fart box. <laughs> you want to sit around and wait for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Oh, dude, he's got a heater. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Yeah, Dutch. We've been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Bushwhacked. <laughs> bushwhacked. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You. I won't quit you, Dutch. Said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Uh, no, 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 no. And this is about more than Oh, he just gave us a shotgun. Long ago. Rifle. Hey, we're talking 
I don't know. I don't know my guns. Detonators. Here. I should, but Cole I don't. Always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. <laughs> I'm getting too old for that life. I love it. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah. Deer piss and rabbit shit. Lasso. Right, yeah. All right. What does the lasso do for cattle and other concerns? Uh. Okay. Can I just get back to the game? You Thank you. Follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this store they're planning. You know, nothing beats. Uh, you know, he said deer piss and rabbit shit, but I'm I'm partial to bullfrog turds myself. Deep fried bullfrog turds. Okay. Well, we, before we start this next mission, what? What's what is that? It? Tracks, horses, quite a few of them. Before I fall into the trap of last time, let's pause and let's head over to our uh, topic screen. <laughs> okay. Uh, next, next character on the list or actor is the granddaddy of them all. Now, uh, you're gonna get mad at me, and we we'll bring him up. Let's bring him up. Beverage of the night is, uh, hold on. Of course, it's bullet bourbon. I figured playing a Western, you got to drink some bourbon or some whiskey. Uh, I didn't have time to go out and get whiskey, but yeah, here's the granddaddy of them all. Pimp Eastwood. Clint Eastwood is the fucking man. Um, a lot of people probably get mad at me for not saying John Wayne is the granddaddy, granddaddy of them all. Uh, I'm a little bit, I'm old. I'm old as fuck, but I'm, I'm. A little young for John Wayne, and I don't think I've ever watched a John Wayne movie ever in my life. <laughs> um, sacrilege, huh? I don't know, man. Clint East was the granddaddy of them all. Um, now, Clint East would have starred in lots of, lots of. Oh, we'll get to that. Lots of westerns. Uh, he, but his his uh man with no name in the Sergio Leone trilogy is just phenomenal. Uh, one thing these Western actors have in common is the eyes. The eyes always tell the story. They don't need to have fancy dialogue uh, written for them. They just act with their eyes. Like, their eyes tell it all. Um, <laughs> and Clint, I mean, it, what, what can you say about Clint? I mean, he's He's been in every fucking Western that's... Every one of his Westerns is great. And then he makes great other movies as well. I'm not even going to bring them up. But um, my favorite, Unforgiven, is... Uh, oh, God, Unforgiven is so great. There's so many good lines in that fucking movie. Um, that movie is just fucking great. In, in and and then, of course, Good, Bla good, the Bad, and the Ugly. A few dollars more, Fistful of, fistful of Dollars or whatever. Uh, Outlaw Josie Wales. I mean, this guy's been in, <laughs> been in all the classics. Um... I haven't even seen them all, but he's been in tons of them. Those spaghetti westerns there, and Clint, and not only that, Clint's been in so many other great movies. So that's why I call him the granddaddy of them all. Pimp, pimp Eastwood. <laughs> so Unforgiven. I mean, uh, it, it ranks up there now. Unforgiven. Let's talk about Unforgiven. The last ten minutes of that movie is probably the greatest thing you'll ever see in your life. Besides the last 10 minutes of Last of the Mohicans. <laughs> I know that's a convoluted way of describing it, but if you watch the last 10 minutes of that movie, it'll be better than anything you've ever done in your life, including sex, and, and including anal sex, too. Um, I, when, he, when he just r rolls into town, it's raining, and he's just going to take revenge, and he blows that fucking dude away, and, and the guy's like, you just shot an unarmed man. And he goes... 
Well, he should have armed himself. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, that's classic fucking Western. Uh, I mean, it's just amazing. And then, you know, of course, the good and the bad and the ugly and all that stuff. But Clint Eastwood is the fucking man. Uh, I could go on and on about, like, his... I mean, then he turned into a, a dirty Harry with the cops and stuff, which uh, we'll bring up later. I, I don't, you know... A lot of these guys did a lot of westerns, but they also did a lot of other movies. And uh, Clint, I mean, just the guy lives forever. He's like ninety something now, I I believe. The fucking guy just won't quit. He's still making movies. He, uh, the last movie I saw of his, there was one that just came out, but I saw The Mule, where he was like an old codger, old bugger makes good, trying to smuggle. He got roped into smuggling drugs over the border for some Mexican cartel or something. And it was pretty good. Um, of course, Gran Torino is a fucking classic. Uh, great movie, made in Detroit. Um, but this guy is just a pimp, and he gets away being himself in Hollywood. <laughs> Cry Macho was meh. Yeah, see, I haven't seen that one. Um, but this guy gets away with being himself because he's old school Hollywood. He's been around forever, and he's he makes good fucking movies. Uh, the the what's the one with Hillary Sw- Hillary Swank or Hank Swank as I call her? She plays a boxer. <laughs> Which she got typecast as a boxer. What's what's that one called? Um, Million Dollar Baby. That's a great movie. Uh, of course, In the Line of Fire. Who could forget that? Um, yeah, and and those aren't westerns, but it just goes to show you how much how this guy has like influenced our lives. Like how many when this guy dies, it should be like when one of the Beatles died. Uh, they should celebrate this fucking man for all that he's done in his just like, God, he's probably been going on 60 years in Hollywood, at least if he's 90. I mean, I'm sure it's it's 60 plus. So we're nearing the top of the hour, so I'm going to light a smoke like Pimp Eastwood here. And then, of course, of course, his... Uh, his horse in um, The Good and the Bad and the Ugly was, uh, yeah, John Elway there, right? <laughs> uh, I've never, that's never going to get old. I'm just going to keep bringing up John Elway. <laughs> but, yeah, let's let's get back to, let's get back to Clint. Clint, um, I just remember him being the ultimate badass growing up. Like, I didn't grow up with John Wayne. Um. Uh, yeah, no, and he directed a lot of movies he didn't star in. Uh, the Richard Jewell movie's fantastic. I love that movie, and what a sad story. Look it up, but the Richard Jewell movie is fucking fantastic. And the guy who played Richard Jewell in that deserves credit. I mean, that was a great job acting like a fat bastard, you know? A fat, sweaty bastard who thinks he's like a fucking super cop. But his body of work speaks for itself. I mean, this guy. And it's been a while. I've seen The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly a couple times, three or four times. And, of course, A Fistful of Dollars and A Few Dollars More three or four times. But it's been a while, so I can't, like, quote the movies and talk about how great he was in them. Um, So that's probably why I'm relying on looking at his other his other body of work, Gran Torino. I mean, I just love that movie. Uh. Unforgiven though. Unforgiven is the best. And that was like his return to Westerns after so many years of playing Dirty Harry between the spaghetti westerns and Dirty Harry and all the all the other shit. Uh Mystic River, he directed Mystic River too. Um that's a good movie. And yeah, so he's just got this body of work. He just quality and quantity, both of them in all into one. Uh yeah, so that is the man, the myth, the legend, Pimp Eastwood, <laughs> Clint Eastwood. So I'm going to take a just uh, two, not even a two minute, a minute and a half timeout. And I will be back and we'll get back into the game and we'll see you then.
No, all right, I'm back. I had to take a little tenderfoot time out there. Yes, like I said, yes, I'm a good little ranger. So what have we learned in this story of Red Dead Redemption so far? I mean, there's, you're like a traveling caravan of starving people. You get snowed in. You had to go hunt for food, and Dutch is your leader, and he had a boat incident. A boat incident? Um, I don't know. It sounds like Dutch is fucking dudes in the ass. I, 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 I don't have proof, proof, but it does sound like that. Um, nothing, not that there's anything wrong with that, but he, Dutch just ain't telling us the, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So I thank you for bearing with me in the, the old tenderfoot timeout. Let's, uh, hop back into the game. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. Okay. We got a... We got a posse here. We got a posse. We're part of a posse. Okay. Okay, Dutch. Uh oh. We're gonna get in a fight. Yeah, one way. It, you Some will I be. Others I can forget. You will be. What he did to Annabelle, I can't do neither. What did he, he do to Annabelle? Brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. <laughs> See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Whoa. Hold up here. What, did everybody right, tune out because I had to take a piss? <laughs> Are we goddamn ready? You can't say goddamn on the air. Well, nobody's now, listening anyways. Mr. Morgan and I, we're going to head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Who's Mr. Morgan? Is that me? Mr. I'm Lewis Arthur, Mr. right? Bell. Artie? You two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Okay. So I am, I'm, I'm whoever. Mr. Pink. Can I talk to you, Dutch? Hey, Dutch. Hey, Dutch. Was it really good? You know, the anal sex? I don't know, Arthur. Uh-oh. Okay, we got one dude on the right. Dude with a shotgun on the left? Oh, there's four dudes down there. I think so. Five. Yeah, Six. This is going to be brutal. Okay. I'm watching. All I can do is skip. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. Ooh, harmonica. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Nope. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. <laughs> Come on, let's get down there. How the hell are we going to do that, Dutch? Dutch, the man with the plan. All right. If I know which horse is mine. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. <laughs> sure thing. Well, 
I want the rifle. A carbine repeater. A bow. No, we don't want that. We want the carbine repeater. Good. Come on, let's go. Alright, dude. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. <laughs> it's a yeah. it's a dish best served I'm fucking sure cold, bitches. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? No. Our needs right now are supplies. Equipment Analyze. way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there. To By a sturt. Now come on. I don't know them bastards. I can't wait till it thaws and we don't have to like what trek through a foot of snow everywhere we go. This bit steep. This is what rugged individualism is all about. Who <laughs> took my tobacco? You probably couldn't hear that, but this guy's pissed about someone taking his tobacco. Is that fine southern tobacco? I'm sure you You don't have one of those cigars, do you? They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Is that fine southern tobacco? I don't I don't know if you got one of them cigars, do you? Can we pull out our... There we go. The carbine repeater. The Red, ri the Red Rider BB gun. Red Ranger BB gun. Stay low. Okay, hold tab and select a weapon. Release tab to equip. Okay, cool. I already did that. Oh, can we shoot this guy? Does he not see us? How does he not see us? He's looking right at us. Okay, let's get in cover. okay you press Q to get in cover, right? So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. I, I really don't. You can take the lead, Dutch. Hold time to debate this okay I'll go first where are we going okay shopping oh <laughs> headshot Nice. Headshot. Nice. 
Nice! Right through the fucking temple! Oh, I love it! There's one other guy over here. Okay, that's cool. Come on, pull your head up. Yeah, fucker. God damn it. All right, blow his face off. Awesome. I just fucking took him out. I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. You recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun. Oh, tobacco. Bastards! Snake oil? Okay. That was pretty fun. Hold on, let me loot this body first. What's fucking OK Corral over here?
I don't know how this eagle eye works. The cowards are running away. Oh, it's Good over. Work, boys. Back to the camp. We'll get what we need. Clear out. Okay. I probably did really well, shitty there, but Hey, I I'm, I'm not done looting dead bodies. around good work boys now let's tear this place apart bill you go search that wagon there mike search that building arthur you take that building to the left all right man quick find those detonators explosives anything you can let's go Whiskey tonic. What have we got here? Oh, dynamite. They call me the dead body man. Someone give him to me. But bring them to me. Here's the dynamite. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. <laughs> Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. The this poster. Ace Freely. Yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. <laughs> Leviticus Cornhole. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Leviticus Cornhole. Good work, fellers. Not bad for some starving down and out. Yeah, not bad at all. Come us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Can we give our horse something? What? Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get cold, but this hit will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. Oh, we're going to rob the train? <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. Indeed. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're going to stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. Good plan. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. <laughs> hey Dutch. Right. In, fellas. Let's make some ground. Hey Dutch, what's the meaning of life? Fuck, we're gonna have to chase somebody down. A lasso him. I think our host. Our horse needs oats.
Can we feed our horse some bourbon? Oh, I lost it. <laughs> I lost already. That was a bullshit. All I did was stop and have some oats with my horse. Got him. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do here. Don't hurt me. <laughs> just, just, just take it easy, mister. Mister, please. Look, I give up. What the hell? Please don't kill me, please. I'm <laughs> in trouble. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Hog tie. You're coming with me. Nice. Please. Well, let's loot him first, right? Just let me go. Come on. Shit. Shit. Oh, God, no. All right. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. <laughs> Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna lie. <laughs> to the what? boat. What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please. Awesome. Yeah, good boy. Don't do this, please. <laughs> yeah, okay, boy. I I'm no use to you. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. Fuck yeah. You tell him who's boss there, Artie. Can't say goddamn on the air. <laughs> I felt like doing that. Come on, speed up there, horsey. The long trail back to camp. Oh, 
All right, do we get to interrogate this asshole? Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. <laughs> You just drop them. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. I got them. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot, fellas. Is need shooting? Save fellas as need saving and feed them as need feeding and fuck them as need fucking find out what you need. I can't believe <laughs> it. I know Driscoll in my camp. I ain't no Driscoll, mister. I, I hate that fella. Oh, <laughs> you say, son? Well done, Arthur. Already. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I got to figure out. If we can hit that train. Okay. Aren't we trying to survive? And we're thinking about planning on hitting a train. Alright, Artie, go warm up. Four weeks later. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch. Being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Dutch. Dirty Dutch Mantel found, well, found you was reading him his last rights. Wandering I see you're introducing him to Route 66. <laughs> I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morton. Nice bonnet. Find a way, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, you just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Oh. Want me to come? No, it's not. I'm not ready. Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. What is it, boy? See me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll Bitch. See you You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're get, living. Get Even busy you. living. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? He's a big <laughs> railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Cue the music. Yeah, Leviticus Cornhole.
Can, can you jerk off? Oh, the back, huh? Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan Frey. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough. After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? <laughs> yep. Not, not really. Yes, boss. Not really. Now come on. Let's ride. <laughs> that guy can't give any hand jobs to Dutch if he if his hand's wounded. Now this is cool. This is like total western fucking awesome. You got to hand it to Rockstar Games. They they do their research and they, they they're lovers of of the art, you know. You could tell they they they're fans of westerns. Similar is in the uh LA Noir too. Okay. Good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Okay, that's a good time to pause and bring bring back up. Uh, I'm running out of time again. Uh, number three. Um, number three. I mean, I'm just gonna show him Chuck fucking Bronson. I mean, <laughs> the fucking guy is. Probably the most badass man on the face of the planet. Well, when he was. rest, God rest his soul. I salute you, Chuck Bronson. Chuck Bronson um, was, or Charles Bronson, as he was known by. Uh, only his friends call him Chuck, and I'm his friend. So, uh, Harmonica in Once Upon a Time in the West. I mean, again, look at his eyes. He's acting with his eyes. You look at those eyes, and you're like, this guy means business, right? This fucking guy, he's going to fucking blow a fucking cap right up your fucking ass. <laughs> right up your your pooper. Um, Chuck Bronson, I mean, not only was he a stud in the movies, and he did all the death wishes and a lot of action movies in the 80s and stuff before he died. Not in, in his his character, Harmonica, in, in uh, Once Upon a Time in the West. It's fucking phenomenal. Um, and he was in, uh, what is it? The What's the one, The Dirty Dozen? Um, yeah, I mean, the guy was a badass. Now, well, he, he was not only a badass in the fucking movies, he was a badass in real life. This guy grew up dirt fucking poor in Pennsylvania, and his dad was a coal miner, and I forget where they were from. I want to say Lithuania. Um, he was born in Pennsylvania, uh, but the, he was one of 15 children, <laughs> and he was, they were fucking dirt poor they were his dad was a coal miner his dad died when he was 50 years old uh charles was only 10 um then he went to work for the coal mine when he was 16 and he would they were so poor that he after school he would take his socks off and give them to his brother so his brother could wear them in the coal mines that's how fucking poor they were um and then he he joined the army he got drafted in 1943 i believe and he fought in the war, and he was just a fucking badass. And then he always showed talent to his teachers. Uh, he could draw. Uh, he always had, like, an artsy side to him, and he became an actor. But the guy is a fucking badass. My favorite thing about Charles Bronson is the Simpsons did a, uh, a skit where they were talking about the Andy Griffith show, and they were, and they were like, um, what if... I don't know. I don't remember exactly. It's been so long. Simpsons has been on forever. I don't remember uh, what the actual premise was, but Charles Bronson took over being sheriff of Mayberry. <laughs> and they were like, uh, somebody walks in and is like, what happened to Andy? And and they showed Chuck Bronson behind the desk of the, the sheriff's desk. And he goes, I shot him. <laughs> I shot him. Um, yeah, and then his, de his death wish shit was fucking great. Um, again, Once Upon a Time in the West, I don't need to reiterate it. Uh, you need to watch that movie if you haven't seen it.
but Chuck was, uh, I mean, he was a man's fucking man. And then when he played Paul Kersey in the Death Wish movies, it's just, you believe in Jesus? Well, you're going to meet him. <laughs> and blow him away. And fucking. Uh, the scene, the opening scene of uh, Once Upon a Time in the, in the West when, when the three gunslingers are waiting at the train station. And they're just waiting and waiting and waiting. It's drawn out. The, the water's dripping on the guy's hat. The other guy's fucking around with like a fly flying around his head. And then the other guy's just bored out of his mind. And it just makes you feel bored. And then the train shows up. And then the train leaves. And there's Chuck fucking sitting there. And um, they're like, looks like we're shy. They brought uh, three horses. <laughs> And he's like, hey, looks like the gunslinger's like, looks like you're shy. Uh, looks like we're shy. One horse. And Chuck Brownson goes, nope, you brought two too many. And then he fucking blows them away. <laughs> oh, it's fucking great. Chuck, Chuck fucking Brownson. I mean, look into his backstory. If you ever if I mean, he's a he's a fucking patriot, fucking great man. Um. Yeah, hey, this guy is just the all-American fucking badass. And they don't make men like this guy anymore, that's for sure. Growing up dirt poor, going into the army, serving in his, doing his time in the fucking, in the, in the WWS2s. <laughs> this fucking dude was a fucking badass. Uh, I wish there was a character, so far I haven't seen one that compares to something Chuck Browns would do. The silent fucking gunslinging fucking... Uh, I don't fucking mince words. I just blow people away, kind of fucking dude. And then Chuck Bronson, um, he uh, he actually adopted his horse from Once Upon a Time in the West. A little known fact, um, and his horse was uh, John Elway from the Denver Broncos. <laughs> <laughs> Giddy up, John Boy. I should have made a giddy up, John Boy sounder. That would have been fucking hilarious. So, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. Watch the Death Wish movies. They're fucking great. Um, go back and look at some of Chuck Bronson's work. I mean, the Dirty Dozen. I just This guy is a fucking phenomenal actor, and he just looks the part. He just looks like he's going to fucking kill you uh, with accurate precision headshots. Unlike me in this fucking game where I'm just like, Firing all willy nilly and shit. Uh, yeah, Chuck would put me to shame at this fucking game. I wish there was a Chuck Bronson character where every shot is a headshot. You know, you fucking just fucking blow these cock smokes away. So, um, let's hold on here. Let's see. It's ten thirty. Time to pour a drink. I'm empty. Let's get some more uh, bourbon going here, and then we'll get back into the game. I'm wearing my headphones like on the back of my head, so because they won't fit around this gigantic fucking stupid fucking hat I'm wearing, like I'm a fucking sheriff or something. Where's my Red Wings hat? Oh, I killed the bourbon. Well, hopefully that'll last me the rest of the night. Bullet bourbon, frontier whiskey. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> uh shit. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about Chuck Bronson. I mean, it, just check him out. He's got a lot of great movies. He's he's the Amer original American badass. And uh yeah, he's just it's it's a shame we lost him. He, we kind of lost him early. I don't I think he died in his 60s, but uh maybe he was a little older than that. I don't remember, but I remember the Death Wish movies, and each Death Wish, Death Wish movie got more and more over the fucking top, where I think in Death Wish 3, he takes on, like, a whole fucking city, like, a whole ghetto, like, of fucking filth and crime, and he just, like, blows them away, he's probably gonna, uh, I don't know, I don't know my guns, but... It's almost like Predator, the scene in Predator where they chop down the forest with guns. <laughs> like, he's just firing missile launchers and shit. And, and uh, yeah, so uh, check out those Death Wish movies, too. He's fucking great and that was phenomenal. All right, let's get... Yes, I'm a good little ranger. Let's get back into the game here. Oh, look at you boys. See? 
Why did I stop? You <laughs> Lenny. Don't forget Lenny. Oh my god. There's some greenery in this game. I thought it was just going to be all white. Then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you going to ask the same question, Marker? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkerton. Watch it. We go back. What I say, we go back. And that's the end of it. Money safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. <laughs> Good money once we work out how to cash them. How beautiful that is. Look at the background. And get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Hold. I apologize if I screw this up there, there Dutch. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Check on Bill. Am I supposed to ride my horse down here? I guess so. Don't cross the streams. Yeah. Stay there, girl. Whoa, Nelly. Can we hit the dynamite now? by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. <laughs> okay. I think I can handle that. Connect the wire to the detonator. <laughs> this is interesting. fuck up there I'm gonna ride my hung like a horse horse I'm gonna ride John Elway up uh, back up to the We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. The train should be here any minute now. Cover your faces. Oh, what am I supposed to do here? Oh. Yeah, I want this fucking game. Do I want the shotgun or the revolver?
Revolver actually has more range. Yeah. That includes you, Arthur. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Cover your face, Arthur. Hold tab to show the weapon wheel. Oh, items. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> tab, tab. Like they had cameras back then. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. No, I don't. Uh oh, things are about to get fucking serious here. Lake Erie Railroad. <laughs> what a fucking struggle. We're going to jump on the train. We go. Awesome. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Hey, down here. Pull me up. I got you. Now stop yelling. Okay, you had to keep clicking. Shot him in the ass. Come on, let's get to the front. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. What the hell was Bill doing? He had long enough to set that charge. Well, I hooked up the wire, but we won't mention that. <laughs> it was our fault. Fuck me in the butthole. Beat his ass. Fucking Abe Lincoln here. Toss him off. There you go. Fucker came out of nowhere. <laughs> that was fucking cool.
Where, where are they? I'm about to die. Take cover. All right, dead eye and slightly. Hold on, I gotta get some whiskey in me. Time to fucking beat them, beat beat them down. We don't want to kill any of you. It's Curly Bill. Any more of you? I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Cornholer. Cornholer. We got our order. Okay, you asked for it. We are opening this door. Four, three, two, one. That was quick. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake him up a little. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Uh-oh. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light Here the fuse. <laughs> Sweet dude. Fucking light him light him off this. I'd step back, fellas. Alright, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Get in there. About Look time. At this place. It's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. <laughs> oh, you two got the safe? I'll search it's, the rest. Oh, yes. It's Should like, be easy as cake. You Hefner's fucking... You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, the kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. No more that train. I'll give you that. Okay, dear Mr. Hey. M See if we can get this open. Can I read without you fuckers talking? Uh, Jesus Christ, they, these guys uh, yap more than fucking the NPCs in Skyrim. All right, do we got a moment of peace? Okay. Ah. Ah. There. See? That's how it's done. Shut up. Shit. Jesus. A pile of papers. Bond? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <laughs> Give me those. Okay, dear Mr. Corn Cornholer, we are Railroad yet to receive payment of two thousand dollars for the uh, initial uh, phase uh, of exploration at the Wapiti. Really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. Oh, these guys. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boaties ordered from Europe. <laughs> 
I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. All right, can you shut up? All right, initial phase Have of you checked uh, all the drawers and cabinets at the Wapiti Indian Res Reservation. Dan Bongino has agreed in the in the contract between Cornholer Kerosene and Far and the Leland Oil yet. Development Company. Okay, I'm not going to read this. Fuck them. Well, let's keep looking. Can I pause it? Okay, no, I can't. I receive the funds. We will proceed to the phases two and three of the project and present you with the detailed report of our findings within the month. Yours respectfully, James Critchley, head of accounts, Leland Oil Development Company. There must be something. Oh, you fucking guys, man. You're worse than Skyrim. Come on. Let's hurry this along, boys. No. I'm going to take my fucking time. I'm going to drink this fine brandy. Inspect this another note. I can't read that. That's way too tiny. Um, although, we can do this. Dear Leviticus, thank you for the telegram and for your continued interest in the Jameson Mining Company. However, any news you have received of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine in Ansburg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your sources. Uh, the coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways, so I certainly remain open to business meeting at your convenience to exchange ideas and educate each other on our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in Ansburg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated f facilities. I look forward to any further correspondence. Archibald Jameson. Okay. He's got a little fox. Ooh, a strong box. No, this looks like something. Yeah. My sentiments exactly. Ooh, there we go. Some ducats. <laughs> I'll just take take that. Anything else? No. Nope. Think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> <laughs> I got a cigar. Ooh, I'm um, just looting the place. I'll take a platinum pocket watch, another cigar. What is this? Moonshine? Fine brandy, of course. Is that it? All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Where's your hat, Arthur? These. These. Bonds. Bonds. Sure. Bearer bonds. <laughs> fucking dudes. Sell these what do they got? The fucking COVID well, in the old know. west there? That everybody's wearing a mask? Of all of this. The train? Yeah. Get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them. Leave them here. Take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you. Let's ride. <laughs> I'm liking this game. This game's pretty fucking, fucking cool. Um, deal with the guards. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas? I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. <laughs> Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. Anybody else feel like running? <laughs> oh, your honor level will change how people in the world interact with you. Negative actions may will make you dishonorable. Hmm. Will we just kill that guy? I just want to interrogate him. Can you interrogate him?
Okay. You can pick him up. I don't know what I'm doing with this guy, but... Can we take him back to the... Where's my horse? Oh, there she is. Can we hitch him to the horse? We'll fucking take him back. Just we... Because we're a fucking... You can. <laughs> Let's take him back. Fuck it. We'll leave the other guy to die. Okay, boy. We're going to take him back so we have somebody to torture every day. All right, let's ride back to the camp. Why is my quest marker pointing there? Am I supposed to start the train? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking take the train for a ride. My quest marker is pointing to the locomotive here. Oh my god. Look at this guy. He Oh, you're going to send it off? That's awesome. That was pretty cool. So where does the train go? Just a r runaway train never coming back. Wrong way on a one-way track. So Feels like I should be getting somewhere. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. The Cornhole train. We got train. money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. Horseshit we'll Overlook. <laughs> hide out there, no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. That's our the guy got in a fight with a hooker. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> uh, Dutch is Dutch likes to do do other guys in the butthole. I think. Very cool. Very cool. Here's my copyright. Demonetization copyright. My YouTube overlords are going to be pissed at me on this one. So is that it for the tutorial? Drop your trousers. Right up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. How about a bourbon? May I recommend Bullet? Although I don't know if Bullet was around back then. I doubt it. Okay, let's go ahead and pause and bring up the old topic. Oh, get back to it because um, it's 11 o'clock already. So um, let me get a toke here. So we've learned that Dutch, our leader. So we, we were stranded. We robbed a train. 
Uh, we went hunting. We robbed a train, and Dutch is leading us off into the promised land. Um, his version of the promised land is an all male gang bang all star review there. <laughs> I'm assuming, but um, yeah. So let's get back into it. Uh, westerns. Oh, okay. This one. You're gonna love this one. Um, we're going to jump out of the 60s and 70s and jump straight into the 90s. Uh, one of the greatest characters ever in, in Western history and one of the greatest acting jobs ever in Western history is Val Kilmer as Doc Holliday in Tombstone. Um, where do you begin? This guy acted his fucking chops. He had his <laughs> acting chops like dead on. He should have won. He was not only not nominated, he was so, totally snubbed from the Oscars. This guy should have won the fucking Oscar in 90, what was it, 92, 94? I don't remember when this movie came out. But there is no more believable fucking uh, acting job ever. I, I think this goes up as one of the greatest acting jobs ever. I know the movie is kind of cheesy. It's a Western. It's an action movie. It is... But, I mean, I don't know if that's why they snubbed him at the Oscars and stuff, but who gives a shit about the Oscars anymore, really? Um, but back in the day, he should have won it. This guy, I mean, he acted so well as a lunger with tuberculosis or whatever the fuck he had, I thought I was going to catch it. Like, <laughs> whatever he had, herpes or whatever, he, he did such a good job acting like he was sick that I thought I was going to catch it just from watching the fucking movie. I mean, this guy, he, he was always covered in sweat. He he was always pale. He had, like, red puffiness, and the makeup's, makeup job was fucking great, too. But the, just the way he fucking acted, and he coughed, and uh, he must have smoked, like, 30 packs a day. Well, not 30 packs, but maybe three packs a day. Um, It's a shame, because if you, if Val Kilmer, if you look at him, don't look him up nowadays, because... He uh, has succumbed to probably smoking so many cigarettes. He's got like a voice box and everything. It's sad. But, I mean, this acting job was fucking great. This longer, I mean, and, and then the all the lines from Tombstone. And this guy didn't do many westerns, if I I, I uh, recall. He is in one of, the, one of the greatest comedies of all time. He's in uh, Top Secret. That's where I first, well, that's like his first movie is Top Secret. He did a phenomenal job in that. But, I mean, him as Doc Holliday, I mean, what can you say? It's like, I'm your Huckleberry. And uh, fucking, you know, pull a daisy if you do. There's the whole the whole line, you know, Frederick fucking Chopin. <laughs> Fuck. Are you wearing a bustle? <laughs> You're not wearing a bustle. Uh, but this guy, I mean, he made you think you had tuberculosis. Like, you were suffering with him. And then I don't know how much Hollywood has changed the legend. I don't know how much is legend, how much is true. I'm sure Doc Holliday wasn't like the fucking, like dead eye fucking superhuman fucking gunslinger like he was in this movie. But, oh my God, is it great? I mean, he's just fucking awesome. Fucking awesome. Look at this guy. He's a straight fucking pimp. Uh, I don't know about Real Genius being before Top Secret, but if it was, it was. I don't uh, I don't I don't know. I don't I can't I can vaguely remember real genius. Um wasn't he in Cool World too? Or was that Brad Pitt? I always got him confused in their early career. <laughs> but that's beside the point. I mean fucking Doc fucking holiday, dude. Um What what does Kurt Kurt uh Russell's um character say? He's like put Doc on the house or they'd be less apt to get nervy. <laughs> Uh, in an honorable mention, uh, Tombstone is probably second after Once Upon a Time in the West. Tombstone is so great. Uh, honorable mention goes to Billy Bob Thornton as the fucking dude who's like, <laughs> it's like the the annoying dude in the card playing cards in the casino that uh, Wyatt Earp buys. He's like, it's like playing cards with my brother's kids or something. <laughs> Fuck, that's one of my favorite lines. Oh shit, you fucking, you fucking, you fucking longer. Oh, I hope you die. Oh, uh, yeah. And Billy Bob does a great job. He's just like this fucking ass fucking clown. And then and then fucking Kurt Russell just fucking skin that, <laughs> skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. 
But Johnny Tyler, where are you going with that shotgun? Exactly. I mean, this the, the, every line he says in that movie, I compare it to, I always compare acting jobs to Heath Ledger because credit where credit's due, I'm not a big Batman fan. Uh, I am a Joker fan, but I think the Joker's overplayed because every movie has to have the Joker in it, every Batman movie. Um, but credit where credit's due. It's When I saw The Dark Knight, I could not take... When Heath Ledger was on the screen, I could not take my eyes off of him because it was so riveting, so thrilling to watch him act as the Joker. Uh, <laughs> I know. Let's have a spelling contest. I got two guns. One for the, or you're probably seeing double. I got two guns, one for each of you. <laughs> My hypocrisy only goes so far. Uh, what a great fucking thing. And I compare him to Heath Ledger. This was like Heath Ledger's Joker before Heath Ledger. You couldn't take your eyes off the s- screen. You were, you were riveted. Um, you were, you were just tuned in every time he was on the, on the screen. And, you, you know, Kurt Russell and Bill Paxton and Sam Elliott but you know when he was on the screen you paid attention and that's not something you can say about a lot of acting jobs even like best acting jobs in the Oscars I think Keith Ledger nailed it um, and Val Kilmer nailed it and it's a shame they didn't reward him for nailing it because he fucking nailed it um, just look at him. He's a pimp. I mean, a fucking guy, and in in the coffin and the and the wheezing in this in this, but in in coughing up blood. I, I you just thought you had tuberculosis when you watched this fucking guy. So yeah, and then uh, t- the movie's fucking great. I mean, I, I I could go on and on about this movie. I. As opposed to Once Upon a Time in the West, I've probably watched this movie. I grew up, my brothers watched this movie all the fucking time, and they're friends. I've probably seen this movie like 30 fucking times, and I brought it into high school when we talked about the Old West in American history class. And I'm like, can we just watch Tombstone? And the teacher was like, yeah, sure. Um, But she was quick to note that, like, Everything in the movie is made up, like Hollywood bullshit. But <laughs> but that's what, you know, you're not going to have. Like the shootout at the OK Corral was probably just like two guys, but and they make it look like it was a fucking war in that movie. Um, yeah, Virgil and Morgan. And what else can you say about this fucking movie? I mean, oh, my, one of my favorites is, uh, what was that? What was the turd's name from um, Beverly Hills 90210? Uh, he's in the movie. What well, was it? Wow. Oh. Jason Priestley? Is that his name? When he's like, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think there, boy? And, and Curly Bill's like, what do you think? And he's like, I think he's wonderful. <laughs> no, I think Jason Priestley's character in uh, Tombstone should be hanging out with old Dutch over here. <laughs> Fucking Dutch in the boat incident, you know? Top of the hour, got to light a smoke. That's that's the station identification is on the spicy burrito. Is The top of the hour, you got to light a smoke. <laughs> You're listening to the spicy burrito. And then uh, think of the names in that movie. Uh, you have Kurt Russell, uh, like I said, Bill Paxton, um, uh, Sam Elliott, and then you got Val Kilmer. You got fucking Cur- Curly Bill um, Powers Booth, Jason Priestley, although he wasn't really known at the time, or he was just known for 90210. In fact, that's all he's known for. <laughs> and, and then uh, uh, help me out. What? Who's the guy with the crazy eyeliner in Titanic? Um, uh, it'll come to me. He played the actor. And then you have um, uh, Dana Delaney. Yes. Da- oh, Dana Delaney. <laughs> Her and her big fucking floppy titties. Um, who is it? Who who is it? Billy Zane. Yes, Billy Zane played the actor. He's such a beautiful. And what I think, uh, Curly Bill's like that's a beautiful man right there. Somebody says it, and I always think of uh, him in Titanic when it was like he had. The, what's the deal with your guy liner? This guy was wearing guy liner before the guy liner term was quote. You know, was fucking uh, termed or uh. uh was mainstream, you know. 
And then Maddie was hooked to laudanum. She did a great job, too, because you actually felt her addiction, I think. Uh, she was just so hooked on to that fucking laudanum, and, and then Wyatt Earp would keep asking her about asking about it, you know. Oh, Stephen Lang. I forgot Stephen Lang plays the biggest bitch of all the cowboys. Um, and he's such a fucking pussy, too. He talks such a hard game. And like he's gonna fuck, oh, you know, I'm gonna give him a rap on the Beezer, get some respect around here. He pimp slap. I don't take no lip from no bartender. <laughs> and he just totally pimps him. I hope I'm gonna cut your pimp's heart out. Uh, yeah, Stephen Lang does a fucking phenomenal job in it. Um, I think the Oscars should have went to the whole cast. You know, I think Val Kilmer should have won best. Stephen Lang should have won supporting, and maybe Kurt Russell should have won. Uh, uh. Runner up for support <laughs> But yeah Stephen Lang is fucking awesome Yeah Michael Bean he, he plays the main Not Curly Bill but he plays The main fucking gunslinger um, That Doc has to go up with In, in, in uh, Kurt Russell's he, Doc knows that uh, Wyatt ain't gonna be able to take him out So he takes uh, Kurt Russell's spot And Michael Bean I, what is he? Uh, Michael Bean's one of my favorite actors And it's I, I think I'm, I'm In the minority there um, not many people say their favorite actor is Michael Bean, but I think Michael Bean is one of my favorite actors. He's in all my favorite movies. Guy's a great actor. Um, Terminator, of course, Aliens, and um, Tombstone. The guy's fucking great. Uh, and it's a shame. I don't think I don't know if he and James Cameron had a falling out, or I don't think so. But he was in. Oh yeah, Chuck Heston plays like the farmer. That fucking holds him up. Oh, dude, that's a, it's like an all-star cast. And I don't know how this movie... I never researched how it did in the box office or not. I wonder if the box office has something to do with the Oscars not snubbing Val Kilmer for this. Because a lot of movie critics were like, Val Kilmer should have won uh, Best Actor. He should have won it. He wasn't even nominated. So Hollywood was not happy with Val Kilmer or the movie or what. But you know how that goes in Hollywood. They... You know, so longer pull a daisy if you do. I'm your huckleberry. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I could go on and on about tombstones and lines. The fucking that scene when they're at that fucking that Mexican wedding and Michael Bean just shoots the guy in cold blood. Like, oh man, and and then. You know, Power, I haven't even talked about Power's Booth. He's just phenomenal. His curly bill. Yeah, I hated his guts. Hated his guts when I was a kid watching this movie. Um, But, you know, we got other topics going. We got one more going, and I want to get a little more gameplay. So let's uh head back into the game. Hold shift. You know what's funny is it took me forever to find out what L up arrow means. It means shift. I didn't know that. That shows you how much of a PC turd I am. <laughs> we got stuck. Hey, Dutch. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. That couldn't have worked out any better. We failed because our wagon went off the fucking rocks. Oh, <laughs> uh, what a fucking struggle. I'm going to have to practice this game by the next time we play this. I know I'm just going through the tutorial tonight, but um, yeah, so. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Chuck. Is Chuck Heston in... Or no, it's Sean Connery that makes a cameo in the end of Robin Hood, uh, Prince of Thieves, right? we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook. Horseshit Overlook. We'll be able to hide out there no problem as long as we keep our noses clean. Well, then let's go. 
clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. Okay. I, you two like to talk about the good old I remember that being a big thing. Like, oh my God, Sean Connery shows up at the end of the movie for five seconds. It's good to be the king. All right, let's skip this. Let's get back to in control of our fucking wagon. Head east. Okay, hold L1 to match the speed of the caravan. Yeah, Patrick Stewart in Men in Tights. That's, uh, yeah, that's classic. Men in Tights, that's a movie that does not hold up. I wouldn't put it in my favorite comedies of all time. Um, what happened? Let's take a look. Was that planned? You okay. Right Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. <laughs> Let's get it fixed. Fuck it, Arthur. I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after. Now that's how you change it. I would have quite Yeah, I would have I would have just called triple A. They didn't have triple A back then? Uh oh, engines. The noble savage. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Let's just not mention that whole trail of tears kind of thing going on. Huh? Not too far now. Stay on this trail. Follow the river, then cut left inland. Let's get going. I want to be there before nightfall. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. How is that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, Custer? unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? <laughs> I do. I, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles. This here's a convoy, rubber ducky. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Bullwhip, this so, is bullwhip. This is a rubber ducky. To your I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really... You know what this is? The world's smallest violin. <laughs> A couple years later, some soldiers captured my yeah. mother. You think you had a tough try living my life? We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man and a drink out of me. Make sure you wear clothes appropriate for the environment. I just okay. took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. <laughs> we still heading the right way? That depends. 
Are we still heading west in search of fortune? <laughs> in virgin forests as we Ooh, plan? Virgin? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes. Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Oh, yes. Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. There's always the Pinkertons. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. Horseshit Overlook. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead. In so Dutch, Dutch likes to pull out. fairy jobs, huh? Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. That's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. There's a lot of exposition. So, well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. I agree. Oh, this guy's working on there anyway. Oatmeal? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah. You can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. You don't have any Thank you. You don't have any deep fried bullfrog turds? Ginseng and yarrow. I don't want that fucking healthy shit. Fuck that. Give me a fucking hot steaming fucking cheeseburger. That's what I want. Giddy up, John boy. Giddy up. American ginseng. Holy fuck. Now we're cruising. Oh, ho. Oh. Turn, turn, yo! There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the truck. I'm just running over trees. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Oh, he's he's gonna play the garbage man or what? What the hell? Come on, giddy up. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Yeah, they do. Like a bunch of fucking old Yentas just yentering it up. You were wrong, Jose. This place. Here we are. Perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen. We have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. <laughs> Look at this guy in his fucking After gold fob and his pocket watch. Boy. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We Dutch, make a bit of money here. I think Dutch likes virgin land, butthole. Get out around mm -hmm. them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. <laughs> I hope so. 
Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> there goes that German fucker. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Okay, ger Goebbels. <laughs> uh, for Robin Banks to usury. Hair Seems more dignified Hair somehow. Goebbels. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. Let's pray. Take, take a knee. The things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. <laughs> get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Uh, the <laughs> girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. Oh. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh. <laughs> well, we can always make more money. Yeah. We're gonna yep. have to. Miss Jackson. The, what's I'm the big deal about money? You can always make more of it tomorrow. Do it properly. Light up that fucking smoky treat there. Wouldn't that be funny if, if it was like airplane when he threw the match out? It just blows everything out. All right, horse shit overlook. Here we come. Is this where they cut us loose and we can do what we want? I completed chapter one a couple of hours later. Got off the mountain, rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. We must Just be in like a little better. fucking Iowa or something. Eyes are sparkling. I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. I'd be happier with it's a happy like ending. Water in that whole mess. Hi there. Oh, Jose. Jose. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier, and Swanson. That's Javier to you. Down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. <laughs> I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. Well, you have fun with that. Compendi Compendium updated camera. Uh, when you gain or lose weight, you will be shown the health core. F1 for details. Eagle Talon Talisman. All right. Permanently increases the time that Eagle Eye can stay active. Permanently decreases the damage that player receives while on horseback. Interesting. I don't know how that's going to work. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first tall. time in weeks. Our mission. Uh, with renewed strength and the weather finally stable, the gang ride down from the mountains to set up camp at Horseshit Overlook. Okay. We're free. We're free. Your beard is getting too long. You can use a shaving kit. Beside the tent or visit a barber shop. Fuck that. We gotta fuck get a Civil War beard going on, right? What's wrong with beards? I remember the rumor that David Copperfield had a beard. And I, I don't mean beard as in facial hair. <laughs> I mean, I'm beard as in uh, a female companion pretending to be 
whatever. Um, Dutch probably has a beard as well. <laughs> okay, so um, we're at 11.30 already. Let's pause and, and bring up the last one of all. I think this is uh, where they cut you loose in the game. So that'll be perfect. I mean, next time we can pick it up and maybe I'll go out and practice and play a little more just to see if I can get the controls down a little better. Uh, but I won't. we won't miss a thing because I'll save. Um, let's go ahead and pause and bring up the final. and well, The one that everybody's been waiting for. Uh, the greatest actor. And, I mean, this guy, uh, he got labeled as a character actor because he always played horses. It was, uh, uh, yeah, John Elway. <laughs> Giddy up, John Boy. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm kidding. Um, greatest, greatest actor of all time. Uh, Western actor of all time. And someone alluded to it earlier in the chat, so you guessed it. Um, without further ado, L V fucking C. <laughs> fucking Lee Van Cleef. This fucking guy started in probably a hundred fucking westerns. Um, we you know him from the the Man with No Name trilogy, the Sergio Leone, uh, Death Rides a Horse, um. What can he say about this fucking guy? This guy's just fucking phenomenal. He just looks like a fucking badass. He plays a badass in every fucking Western he was in. Um, I'm not a big school, or I'm not, uh, how do I say this? I, I'm not an expert in Lee fucking, uh, Lee Van Cleef, that's his name. I'm not an expert in him, but everything I've seen him in, I mean, the guy's just fucking awesome. Um, he's, He's uh he's got those eyes again. Look at those eyes. Uh, he's got the voice like just fucking you know I'm gonna fucking kill you voice that fucking deep fucking, and he doesn't use it much. I mean westerns are 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 more visual than than hear audio hearing kind of shit. I I don't I don't know. I'm drunk, but um yeah L V fucking C. I mean I can remember. And Death Rides a Horse. Oh, and a, a fun fact about LVC he was he had a couple of nubs. <laughs> like, he had, uh, like, two two or maybe he was missing a finger. I forget what the exact story is. But you can see it in The Good and the Bad and the Ugly. He, you can see it. Um, yeah, he had some nubs, but the fucking guy was fucking great. Uh, yeah, I, um, I wish I had that twang sound effect. <laughs> Uh, I need to start learning how to uh, program more sound effects. Though. <laughs> the fucking twang sound effect from the Good and the Bad and the Ugly trilogy. The mic. Twang. Oh, but look at this guy. He's a fucking badass. And then uh, what is it? Is it in the Good and the Bad and the Ugly? He smokes a pipe. Like he doesn't smoke stogies or cigars or cigarettes. He smokes a fucking pipe. Like, dude. I mean, you don't get more Chad than smoking a fucking pipe. I mean, you just don't get more fucking badass. Uh, God damn. Uh, th this guy is, a, I mean, he just makes your testosterone level fucking go up. Uh, we lost him early, too. I, I, I Not, like, super early. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he made it to, like, when he was 60. But we never really got, Lee Van Cleef never really got, like, okay, Clint Eastwood had a career. Of course, Clint Eastwood's still fucking around. He's 90-something years old. But after Westerns, he did action movies. He did the Dirty Harry movies. Then even Chuck Bronson, after the Westerns, he did the Death Wishes and the action movies. Um, Val Kilmer has had a, just a, a phenomenal career. Um, Henry Fonda, obviously. I don't know much about Henry Fonda. All I know is he played... Uh, evil son of a bitch in Once Upon a Time in the West. But Lee Van Cleef was mainly Westerns, if, if as far as I know. And he didn't have, like, a later career. Can you imagine if Lee Van Cleef had a career as, an as like, a non-Western, like, a modern action star like, like Chuck Bronson? Or, like, like imagine uh, Die Hard. Instead of Bruce Willis, they cast Lee Van Cleef. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fucking awesome? Like, oh, shit. Come out to the coast. Have a few laughs. Or actually be like, come out to the coast. Have a few laughs. You know, in his, I can't impersonate Lee Van Cleef because his voice was so unique, so dark and deep, you know.
But there are a lot of collections out there of his movies. And a lot of his movies are those low budget spaghetti westerns. Uh, but it's just fucking awesome, this guy. Um, I don't know what else to say about him. I wish he did star in other movies, you know, like other other westerns and shit like that. Um, but he's a legend. I mean, I I would I would put him up there as like if and if I did a list of ultimate badasses, I think I think he takes down any any of the eighties action stars, uh, whether it's Stallone or um. Arnold or Bruce Willis. Um, you put Lee Van Cleef in a gunfight with Arnold, it's over. I mean, Lee Van Cleef takes him out in two seconds. You <laughs> know, fucking guy. In uh, his acting chops, he, you know, he played a lot of Western acting jobs, and this guy could act with his eyes. He didn't need he didn't need his his voice. He just. Uh, I I mean I don't know how much more to praise this guy. One of my favorites, of course, is when he in the few dollars more trilogy or whatever you want to call it, the Sergio Leone trilogy. He's great. Uh, is he the bad? And he is the bad in the good, the bad, and the ugly, right? Um, and then the Mexican guy's the ugly, <laughs> the, the ugly guy, or is or is LVC the ugly guy? I'm not sure. Uh, no, I think he's the bad. The good is, of course, Clint Eastwood, and then the bad is Lee Van Cleef, and then and then they get in that fucking Mexican standoff at the end, and the tension just builds. And of course, you got um, the the fucking sounds and the, you know, the he ho ha he ho, burning <laughs> near he ho ha he ho. Oh, who who. You can't argue with good and bad and the ugly is fucking theme. But my favorite is Death Rides a Horse. I don't remember much of it. It's been a long time since I've seen it, but I remember loving it. Um, and it's just, uh, the guy is fucking great. So, you know, he ranks up there as ultimate American. If there was like an American badass fucking, if we took Mount Rushmore and changed it to just badass Americans, Lee Van Cleef would be on there. I, I I strongly think that Lee Van Cleef would be on there. I think Chuck Bronson would be on there too. So you would have two Western fuckers on the American. I should do that. That should be a topic. American fucking patriot badasses um, that aren't politicians like, like, you know, like fucking Andrew Jackson and shit. Like, you know, like the old politicians, the old presidents and stuff. If you did like a American fucking Chad Mount Rushmore, if you could only choose four badass Americans, if you could only choose four badass Americans to be on a Mount Rushmore of just total fucking fucking brick shit house fucking American badasses, Lee Van Cleef would be on it, and I th- I believe Chuck Van Chuck Bronson would be on it as well. But the other two are up for debate. Um, maybe I should do that as a topic. Who, who are the other two? Uh, God, I couldn't think of. I'd have to really think about it. Who would be the other two? I got one. Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Hulk Hogan. <laughs> no, I. I don't know if Hulk Hogan would make it up there, but like I said, LVC and Chuck Bronson would be on there. Um, I give credit on uh, Chuck Zito. <laughs> Maybe this should all be named Chuck. <laughs> what kind of badass name is Chuck, anyways? Chuck, uh, Chuck in the chat. I, I you, you got to be proud that you you share the name with Chuck Bronson, right? You you got to be proud of that, right? I mean, Chuck is a fucking uh, a fucking shit kicker, fucking badass name right there, Chuck. I mean, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I don't want to give out my name, so don't give out my name. But yeah, it's a lot better than my name. <laughs> Although wasn't it one one guy used to say one of your friends used to say, "Oh, that sounds like 
Lee uh Lee uh Lee Dutton used to say, uh oh. and he'd say my name and he'd be like, Sounds like a guy who has a big package. <laughs> Oh, if only he knew. <laughs> I'm not Irish, but let's just say we got the Irish curse going on. Um, yeah, and not this one too. Oh yeah, Chuck Bronson. I mean, I mean, there's Chuck. I don't know why they called it like if you all, sounds like a guy with a huge rod. Yeah, that's 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 what it was. Uh, I don't know. Like the internet grabbed onto Chad as badass American or badass fucking dude. You know, I think Chuck. I think they should have went with Chuck, because that that name is just uh, it's awesome. Chuck, because you know, you first thing you think about is Charles Bronson, right? <laughs> Chuck, Chuck Bronson, um, and then LVC. And I know the C sound stands for Cleef, but it might as well stand for Chuck, right? <laughs> Lee Van fucking Chuck. <laughs> Yep, and Chuck Heston too. Chuck Heston, that's another badass that I I don't think he'd make the the Mount Rushmore of badasses. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Um, but yeah, it, it's just fucking great. Like, uh, just to have Chuck Brown. Can you imagine a uh, uh, I I just I think it'd be awesome if you, if you just imagine a Mount a new Mount Rushmore where they carved in this guy in this picture. They carved in his head. And then they carved in um, fucking Chuck Brownson. I mean, oh, would that be fucking awesome? And he, uh, Chuck Heston could, uh, maybe we should just call it the fucking Mount Chuck Moore. <laughs> just, who's the fourth? If you put Chuck Heston in there and Chuck Bronson, oh, no, you would need two others. Um, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather have Andre the Giant on there than Hulk Hogan or Macho Man. For what was Macho Man's leaping Lanny Poffo? Macho Man's real name. He was related to Lanny Poffo. Oh, I forget his real name, but <laughs> yeah, fucking badass American. So you got Chuck. You got um, uh, LVC. So yeah. Uh, I know that's getting off the topic of discussion there, but yeah, just 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 watch the good, the bad, and the ugly, and you'll be like, okay, I see what I see what the spicy burritos talking about here. I see the spicy burritos right once again. Just take the time to watch the two hour movie. I mean, fuck every movie nowadays is three to fucking half hours long, right? So, I mean, what's two hours? Just take the time. Yeah, Clint. I know. I mean, that's what I'm saying. All these Western actors could be on that Mount Rushmore of badass Americans. You would have, okay, let's just say for temporarily the Mount Rushmore of Chucks would be, um, I'm going to, I'm going to start using Chucks instead of Chad. The Mount Rushmore of Chucks would be Lee Van Cleef, Chuck Bronson, Clint Eastwood, and Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Hulk Hogan, yeah, brother, yeah, brother. Cause he he wanted you to all he want all the, all Hulk Hogan wanted was to say your prayers, eat your vitamins, and do your homework. And what good, kind of what what great what greater message is that? What more American message is that than to say your prayers, do your eat your vitamins, and do your homework? You know, that was it, right? The the Mount Rushmore of Chucks. Fuck that Chad bullshit. They should have went with Chuck. I I keep seeing this on social media like oh this guy's a Chad. No, he's a Chuck. <laughs> so uh yeah and Clint would Clint could be on there. Chuck Heston could be on there. Um You gotta be American to qualify, right? So Arnold doesn't qualify. <laughs> Sly Sly could qualify maybe. Um Sly Stallone has done some great fucking work. Uh but yeah, uh the Mount Rushmore Chucks. I, and I forget where I was going. I had a point before I get engaged in the chat and that's what happens when oh <laughs> yeah, Bill Paxton. Oh, how about Sam Elliott? Keep a clear eye. Keep a clear eye. Oh man. There's so many good ones. Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell. 
I mean, the guy's more American than Amer- than me. <laughs> the fucking guy is, I mean, he played Herb, Herb in fucking Miracle. I mean, the coach of the U.S. 1980 U.S. Olympic hockey team, for crying out loud. Not to mention Snake Plissken. Oh, man, there's so much good shit we could talk about. Um, I, w- I would say Rutger Hauer, but <laughs> he's not American either. So, uh, yeah, um, God damn. I mean, it, it's just look at this picture, too. I mean, he's got that revolver. The, the thing you know from Westerns is revolvers and revolvers are cool guns. I don't know much about guns, obviously. But a revolver's fucking cool. And, you know, they, they got that little, they put their fingers on the holster and they do a little twitch, a little, I'm going to, I'm going to pull it. No, I'm not going to pull it. I'm going to pull it. And then he fucking pulls it and blows you the fuck away. That's what LV, LV fucking C does. He don't ask questions. He just fucking fires a bullet down your fucking gullet and blows your fucking neck off. <laughs> Unlike Dutch in this game, I'm I'm still think Dutch did a bunch of dudes in a gangbang on on the boat. We'll find out. I'm, I'm I'm sure eventually. Um, yeah, Sam Elliott's. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do a Mount Rushmore of Chucks, and then I'm gonna have to do a Mount Rushmore of shit bags. Uh, that would be cool. Um, let's get LVC off here and let's bring up. Um, hold on. There we go. Let's bring up my favorite scene in Night Court of all time. <laughs> yes. For the fourth time tonight. Yes, I'm a good little ranger. <laughs> I love it. Uh, you couldn't do that nowadays, by the way. Um, dress up a little person as a kid. <laughs> that would just be too offensive, right? Uh, I'm going to have to do a Mount Rushmore shit bags or a top five of shit bags on one of the future streams. There's so many shit bags, though. Think about it. Fubs or shit bags, fat, ugly bastards. Think about it. A top five all time. I mean, ooh, that that would take like NCAA basketball tournament type of fucking elimination going on there. I know almost have to start at 64 and work my way down to two, you know? That is, I mean, there's so many shit bags, and uh, just in sports, um, uh, sports, sports alone. It's called Five O'clock Shadow. <laughs> just in sports alone, the shit bags. You got Cecil Fielder. You got fucking David Wells. What a fucking shit bag that guy was. <laughs> the 1990, what is it? 1993 Philadelphia Phillies. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> not which one all of them uh yeah we should i should just start doing mount rushmores but yeah um yeah john daly in sports there you would have a i don't know i'd even argue Shaq was kind of a shit bag oh no who's that big guy for the portland trailblazers duckworth <laughs> duckworth <laughs> Oh shit! I God, it's so great. Jerry Ball, the fridge, the fridge. Oh man, there's a lot of football ones. Jerry Ball. Yeah. How about this guy? Giddy up, John boy. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got about thirteen minutes. Let's. Let's walk around and, and just fuck around for a little bit until midnight. Oh, that was a fun discussion. Where does a man get some fucking poontang around here? I'm serious. Where does a man get a poontang? <laughs> uh, how about you? Ooh, let's walk up behind her. Do a little... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> me, Miss Grimshaw. Oh. Uh, Mom Pecker just led me into your fucking pussy. <laughs> oh, man. What's in the barrel? You know, in Skyrim, you'd find, like, carrots in these barrels. I guess you don't find shit in these barrels. Oh. 
I forgot. Oh, dude, that just made my whole joke. I didn't, I didn't, yeah. Uh, let me recreate it. I can recreate it. I totally forgot to switch over to the game. Okay, Miss Grimshaw, look at She's fucking uh, bent over. She looks like she needs a good dick. Hey, Miss Grimshaw. Oh, <laughs> she fucking stood up. Miss Grimshaw, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. My pecker went straight into your butthole. Oh, shit. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I'm getting a little drunk tonight. We got to take that whiskey, right? Oh, that. Yeah, drink it. Drink it. Oh, my God. He's taking it to the fucking hill. <laughs> he just throws it all the way. The case of the deceitful German. Look at the bottom of the r bottom right. I knew that German was up to no good. That fucking... <laughs> fucking game <gave> Goebbels. <laughs> Goebbels. Uh. All right. Let's go talk to this broad. Maybe she'll go down on us. I keep forgetting we're not playing Leisure Suit Larry, are we? Morning. Uh, yeah. All right. I'll pass. <laughs> what else can you do in camp? I will definitely practice this game. Oh, yeah. Here's the guy we brought back, right? You're Arthur, right? My name ain't no concern of yours. Yeah. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Look, you seem like a decent fella behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. <laughs> good morning, I think. Yeah, well, we'll leave it there and then. All right. Sucks to be you. Somebody's got a phonograph or... Is anybody getting me some? They're playing Wagner. Let's sit. It keeps telling me I can sit. Hi. They're playing that song in in uh from Private Parts, that classical song that uh oh you can shave here. When they show uh what's her face is big boobs. What does that say? Susan Grimshaw. That's Miss Grimshaw? No way. She was hottie back in the day. She spent too much time around these cowboys. Are you playing the music, you fatty? You got any Iron Maiden? Morning, Arthur. Morning. Morning, Miss Grimshaw. I'm back for a little bit of... Uh, yourself, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Who's playing the music? They had phonographs back in 1899. I didn't know that. Look out, Molly. Waiting for a trick there, Molly. A little John. No John came around. A book. Nikolai Fedorov. Oh, my God. I am not reading that. Oh, my God. Look at this shit. They expect you to read this fucking garbage. If I wanted to read, I'd fucking get buy a book. Dutch. Antagonize. I want to antagonize Dutch. Our 
with her. That was a cigar. Not bad. But sometimes I prefer a pipe. Like, like Lee Van fucking Cleef, you preserve, prefer a pipe? Black water, I don't know. Well, if I find one, you can have it. Well, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I raised you well. <laughs> I don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs> find and retrieve it to them in camp for a reward. Okay, okay. Uh, can we talk to you again? I want to antagonize your ass. It won't let me. Okay. Can we antagonize this guy? You. No. Huh. This camp fucking blows. Where's the nude, the nudie girls fucking dancing around and shit? Let's go talk to this asshole way out here. Oh, is this the shaving kit? Yeah, you can shave. Trim. <coughs> can you trim my bush? I just want to shave my bush. <laughs> oh. Uh, this is your current length. Oh, we... Can you get a John Waters going here? Okay. Chin. Let's take the chin all the way down. Nice. The chops. <laughs> the chops. I just want a mustache, right? Okay. I got to press enter. Yes, yes, that's the way to do it. And then let's get a pencil mustache. An LVC. Or a Chuck Bronson. Oh, this dude's a Chuck. I don't have any pomade. <laughs> Come on, that's a little too in depth there. Do they really have to like make you collect pomade? <laughs> Wait, can we see our dude's fucking stash? Oh yeah, he's Chuck right there. I shot him. All right, cool. All right, so we got our mustache on. Oh, what did I want to do? I wanted to talk to this guy out here. Okay, I can't. Good morning, Arthur. Morning, Javier. <laughs> Got you there, tough guy. <laughs> Just name the place, my friend. Just name the place. <laughs> <laughs> Can we antagonize the fat guy? Hi Let's there. antagonize the fat guy. Oh, we can. I've got an idea, Pearson. Make something edible. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. The slop you've turned those poor deer into. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more, one more. Next time you can go hunting in the snow and I'll murder the cooking. <laughs> <laughs> what what's diffuse mean? Take it easy. I'm just needling you. Yeah, I'm yeah. just. Uh, very good. I'm just playing with you, fuck nuts. That's all. Okay. Um, that's it. That's gonna be it for the uh, old Red Dead Redemption Two. I know we only got through the tutorial. We haven't gotten into the game. The game, mainly the main game, but that's all right. Uh, there's plenty of weeks ahead. We'll play this again in four weeks or three weeks after this week. Um, I think next week we're going to do another Rockstar game. I'm not going to let it out now, but we're we're going to play another Rockstar game next week. And then I haven't decided if I'm going to do another game after that or if we're going to jump into Skyrim 
and then after Skyrim, back to Leisure Suit Larry, and then after Leisure Suit Larry, back to this. We'll see. Uh, I don't think I'm going to jump into Skyrim. I think I'm going to leave Skyrim to my Twitch and the Hooters videos, and then the, the Saturday night main events we'll do for unique games um, because you guys have watched me play plenty of fucking Skyrim. You don't need to watch more of that. Wow. That four hours flew by. It flew the fuck by. And I didn't think I'd make it all the way through this fucking four hours with this hat on, but I did. Um, and we're going to remedy that right now. <sighs> that... Oh, that's more like it. <laughs> All right. That's, oh, that's so much better. And I can hear oh, what I'm saying in, in my headphones better. Oh, shit. That was a fucking flyby four hours. What did we learn tonight? Well, we didn't learn much about Red Dead Redemption, except Dutch wants to do dudes in the butt. Um, we learned uh, that John Elway is probably the greatest Western actor ever. He was typecast as a horse, but um, that's all right. I mean, you know, we, we, you can, it's sometimes it might be good to be typecast, you know, especially John Elway was was typecast as a horse. Let's bring him up one last time. Giddy up, John boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I cracked myself up. So, um, yeah, next time, next week will be another Rockstar game. Uh, it'll be a Rockstar game that doesn't involve a lot of action and shooting and stuff that I'll be able to plow through. This game's going to take, this game's going to have a serious learning curve. This Red Dead Redemption 2, serious learning curve, especially somebody with fat fingers like me, sausage fingers. Um, so it's going to take a while. <laughs> But at least there's story in this game that is very engaging and fun to watch. So um, maybe we'll do a Mount Rushmore next week. Um, but, you know, it's been officially, I just see my clock roll over. It's been officially four hours. So I'm going to end it there. I want to thank everybody who tuned in. Um, it was fun. I wish more people would uh, chat. I don't understand why they, what's so hard about creating a fake YouTube handle or whatever <laughs> but uh that's it so i want to say good night and for for uh dutch this is the spicy burrito signing off